Hello Pally, today is Thursday, May 10th, 2018 and In Focus starts right now. Pally Sports finished out the year strong. We find more in today's sports news. President Trump pulls out of nuclear deal which strikes controversy between the U.S. and Iran. And Norna Vade sits down with members from the Pally Swimming Team in today's installment of Campus Zoom. All that and more is coming up on today's episode. Welcome to In Focus, I'm Abby Black. Let's get started with our daily pick. We'd like to thank Frida Rivera for sending today's daily pick our way. And remember, anyone can send in a daily pick and simply tweet it to us at Pally and Focus. Today's pick is captioned, my daily pick of the day from the meme lords of fifth period. Thanks for that. Now let's take a look at what's happening on campus today with today's campus bulletin. Next Tuesday during Flex, YAF Club will be hosting Anna Hadusky, a pro-life speaker in the MAC. All are welcome to attend. A reminder that Link Crew applications are due by next Wednesday, May 16th. Visit the link on screen for further directions. The Varsity Dance Team is having its third annual spring show today from 7 to 9 in the PAC. The event will showcase halftime pieces, award-winning competition pieces, a bake sale, a raffle, and several guest performances. Yellow signs marking AP testing sites are up all around campus. Please be courteous to those taking the four hour long test and be quiet when around testing areas. Remember not to walk through the big gym before or after school. The Palo Alto Teen Arts Council is holding the Luminescence Film Festival, which will be featuring many award winning student films. The event is Saturday, May 19th at the Palo Alto Children's Theater from 7.30 to 9 and the attire is formal. Stellar Science Enrichment is seeking volunteers to participate in a pilot program on Tuesday, May 15th and Tuesday, May 22nd from 4 to 5 p.m. High school volunteers will work with at-risk elementary school students in Mountain View to complete hands-on science experiments and activities each week. For those interested in science and want to make a difference in your community, email stellarenrichment at gmail.com to sign up or with any questions. The Pally Bring Change to Mind Club is holding its third annual Stick It to Stigma event and this year, theme being Acknowledging Outspoken Athletes, it will feature a match between the boys and girls varsity lacrosse teams, halftime activities, and music. Come out to support the conversation of mental health in the Palo Alto community. The event is free and drinks and merchandise will also be sold. The Campanile is currently compiling a list of post Pally plans for the class of 2018 for the annual map. All seniors should fill out the survey by this Friday, May 11th. The form can be found at tinyurl.com slash pallymap2018 or through the QR code on the screen. Moving on now from what's going on around campus to what's happening in the world today. Topping today's headlines. Iranian lawmakers shouted, death to America, and burned the United States flag Wednesday, just hours after President Trump announced he was withdrawing from the nuclear deal created by former President Barack Obama's administration. Iranian lawmakers held the impromptu demonstration at the parliament building in the capital of Tehran. The protest came as Iranian President Hassan Rouhani said Wednesday that Iran continued to seek engagement with the world and hoped European leaders would continue to preserve the deal. However, he cautioned the Islamic nation could restart its nuclear program whenever it wanted. Many Iranian citizens are worried about what Trump's decision could mean for the country's financial future. Many say they have not seen any benefits from the nuclear deal. U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo arrived in Pyongyang earlier this week to continue preparation for President Donald Trump's upcoming summit with North Korean leader Kim Jong-un while also bringing home three Americans who were imprisoned in the country back home last night. White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders said in a statement that Trump appreciates leader King Jong-un's action to release these Americans and views this as a positive gesture of goodwill. Pompeo also traveled to North Korea over the Easter weekend, where he met with the North Korean leader for the first time. As for the upcoming summit meeting between the countries, Ch Trump announced that the meeting will be held in June 12th in Singapore. California has become the first state in the nation to mandate solar panels for all new homes in a move to cut greenhouse gas emissions. In a unanimous 5-0 vote Wednesday, the California Energy Commission approved the policy. The regulation will require all homes and apartments built after 2020 to have solar panels adding an average of roughly $10,000 to construction costs for a single-family home. 
On the flip side, the commission says the panels could yield much more in energy savings. The new California measure would reduce greenhouse gas emissions by 700,000 metric tons over three years, according to the commission. The Energy Commission said this would be equivalent to taking 115,000 cars off the road. In 1869, the Transcontinental Railroad was finished. Let's talk about that in today's edition of Today in History. On this day in 1869, the presidents of the Union Pacific and Central Pacific Railroads met in Promontory, Utah and drive a ceremonial last spike into a rail line that connects their railroads. This made transcontinental railroad travel possible for the first time in the U.S. history. No longer would western-bound travelers need to take the long journey and dangerous journey by wagon trail, and the West would surely lose some of its wild charm with the new connection to the civilized East. In today's installment of Campus Zoom, Norna Vade sits down with the swimming team who just had a Skaval tournament just last week to learn more. dive team. Recently you guys sent in a daily pic uh, asking the Vikes to show some support for the Skaval tournament, right? So yeah. what is the yeah. Skaval tournament? Yeah, so it's a meet that happens every year and it's competing against all the other teams in our league. Mm -hmm. Unlike the dual meets, we're going against like Homestead, Los Gatos, Gun, like all at the same time and it's it's a really big meet for yeah. us. It's a more competitive meet then? Yeah. Wow. So um, what interested you guys in swimming in the first place? Um, so I think I just I just fell in love with it like ever since I was like younger, like summer league and then when I was younger and then I started swimming competitively and mm -hmm. I just loved the aspect of like racing and I kind of like never thought about it as like uh, as a like a college sport and yeah. then until like I thought, oh wow, I can really get recruited. I was like, man, this would be really and cool. And were you recruited? Yes. Yeah, <laughs> now you're wearing your... Uh, logo for the yeah. <laughs> or like you know your gear so that's very exciting um and in general like ha do you enjoy swimming like is it something that you've done um out of like you know oh, your own interest and is that something that like if students join they w can just do it is it like based off of their own interest or is it like a no cut kind of sport situation well i know jv at pali is i think it's becoming more of a cut sport okay. based on how many practices you you can attend mm -hmm. And varsity is definitely based on your times. Okay, yeah. Um, and do you guys have any upcoming uh, events for swimming? Um, so basically next week, Friday and Saturday, we have a meet at Santa Clara CCS. Mm -hmm. And if our team qualifies, we'll be going to states. So awesome. yeah. very cool. Well, good luck. I honestly, like, you know, you seem like very experienced swimmers, like you were recruited and everything, so I'm <laughs> sure you're great. Um, and good luck to the team in general. And definitely, if you're interested in swimming, you know, tryout for the team. Uh, that would be next year, the tryouts for, for the following year. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for joining me. Yeah. yeah, no problem. Back to you. Sarah Nash is in the studio now with the latest in Pali Sports News. With the year coming to an end, what can we expect from Sports News? continue in playoffs. Girls varsity lacrosse also won last night against Los Gatos by a score of 7-5. to five. Maddie Orloff had 19 saves despite her stick snapping in half mid game. <laughs> Today softball is taking on Cooper team at 4 and JV, JV playing at home and varsity away. Boys varsity lacrosse have their Scaval semifinals at home tonight at 7. That's all for sports. Back. a very happy birthday to Nicholas Schlegel, Yu Shi, Aiden Chui, Nicole Lazowski, Benjamin Papp, Brian Wang, and Eric Wing. 
Well, that does it for today's episode. Be sure to visit our website to check out all the episodes, check the bulletin, or to send us an email. Until next time, have a great day, Pally.